Hey guys, Rob Shoecraft here with Three Storm Fitness. Uh, today I'm going to do another uh, annual review is what I've been uh, referring to these, annual impressions or I don't know, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to call them. But uh, I've been talking about products that I've had for at least a year um, of which I've done, already done reviews on for initial impressions. Um, but I want to give kind of an update on you know, there's a huge difference between using something for a few weeks and using it for a year. Obviously, you learn a lot more about it. So I want to share that with you guys. And today I'm going to talk about flooring. Woo! Flooring, yeah. So we have my horse stall mats. Got these from Rural King. Uh, that video has been pretty popular. A lot of people apparently are pretty into using horse stall mats as, uh, as gym flooring. And rightly so. It's uh, relatively inexpensive. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna re-review these things, but they're cheap and they work super well. These things are each about 100 pounds, uh, 100 pounds each, and uh, three quarter inch thickness, so they can withstand a beating. I don't actually have plywood underneath them, yet they've continued to take the beating. So let's just show you this here. All right, I just dropped that from I don't know two and a half three feet. That's about. Uh, 90 pounds plus whatever the bar is and as you can see nothing wrong with the concrete those stains underneath by the way existed uh before this i don't know if you saw like an oil stain down there the dude who uh owned this barn before me owned the house before me he uh kept a boat in here anyways uh so i, I don't really have too much to say here it's pretty easy to clean uh i usually clean it with a this uh, Norwax mop, which does drag on it a little bit, um, but really, it's not a big deal. Pretty easy to clean. Um, usually, you just brush it off first with a with a push broom over there. I mean, I'm not going to talk too much more about it again, but it, it works uh, works really well. I I highly, highly, highly recommend horse stall mats for your gym floor. Um, not much of an issue with grip, except for sometimes humidity. If it gets really humid in here. It can get a little slick. You're probably going to experience that with just about anything, though. So uh, I've already kind of licked the humidity issue for the most part, though, with these little uh, these little damp red things. Um, anyways, let's talk about my turf. This is from On Deck Sports. The sled is probably one of the most used items in here. I also use the turf for, for sliders and things like that. But for the most part, uh, the turf is used for, for sled work. Prowler work, I guess, technically is what this is. Um, the turf has been fantastic. There's a couple good things, um, a couple bad things, but more more good things. Um, one thing, I'll just cover the bad first. We were already talking about humidity. So, um, one of the downsides about having a, a pole barn gym with uh, poor climate control uh, relatively anyway I got the fans and the damper it and all that but for the most part it's not really there's no central air or anything like that is it could get pretty darn humid in here in southeastern Ohio not exactly Louisiana but it does get kind of muggy and when it's very very humid uh, there's a lot of drag on this turf so it's not that big of a deal I kind of play it by ear but if you're trying to Let's say you got somebody, they're, they're working on um, really heavy sled drags or heavy sled pushes, and we're kind of tracking the weight that they're using. It's really tricky to do here because unless it's dry, which it usually is, but when it is muggy, it totally changed the friction in the turf. And it could, I'm not exaggerating when I say it could add a, a perceived 200 pounds to the prowler. Um, it's just just that extra humidity really makes a big difference. So if you don't have a climate controlled gym and exact weights are very important to you, you're going to want to take careful consideration before buying turf. Um, I don't think this is something unique to on deck sports turf. I think this is just turf in general. Uh, another thing is there's been a couple spots couple spots like right in between here where it started to come out just a little bit I've had like little chunks of uh, of turf and I think that is where something's kind of dragged on the front of the sled it is so so rare though um, like I said I've had this for a little a uh, little more than a year 
and it doesn't it just doesn't happen i'm very rarely picking up any any little pieces of turf i'm looking around to find one right now but i don't, I don't see any it's held up held up very well sometimes also i get like this i'll get like if i if, if somebody's pushing like 700 pounds or, or, or a lot of a lot of weight and there's also a lot of friction I'll get like these little waves like it'll come up just a little bit while they're pushing um, little waves in the turf now that is primarily uh, because I haven't um, I kind of got a little lazy when I first laid down the tape I got like commercial carpet tape double-sided adhesive and I didn't hit a couple spots like I should have I think that's the problem but other than that, all good things. It's held up very, very well. Uh, one cool thing, kind of on the same line of humidity, this isn't really a cool thing, but uh, I have a little leak up there that I've been kind of battling with. That's another story. And sometimes when it rains super hard, it'll, you know, I'll get tons of water. I'll walk in, there'll be like a big puddle of water there if I didn't put the bucket down. Um, doesn't really seem to affect the turf. I mean, obviously it, it makes it wet, but it dries rather quickly. I don't have any sort of mildew smell. I don't know exactly what that is, what causes it to, to handle it so well. But these things can really take a beating from flooding, from what I've read from other folks who own them. And I've kind of experienced the same thing. So despite the changes in humidity kind of affecting the, the friction, as far as durability concerns go, um, these things can seem to take a lot of water. Uh, like I said, I haven't had any problem with that area. Um, in terms of functionality once it dries and it dries pretty quickly um, Also, sometimes I get a little bit of uh, water leaking in through through here You know, I got a live cable there. No big no big deal. I'm sure it's fine. Although these Lasco um, Kind of I'm changing the subject a little bit these Lasco these blue blue cables do have a built-in uh, uh, Some sort of danger sensor that shuts shuts off shuts off the electricity if there's danger No, I'm an idiot. All right but anyways, yeah, <laughs> everything's working well. This carpet, by the way, is just cheap carpet from my in-laws' old um, old family room, uh, and it's yeah, it's carpet. <laughs> That's all I'm going to talk about today, guys. If you have any questions about the flooring, anything I left out, or any other equipment in here, please let me know. Please drop it in the comments. My name is Rob Shoecraft. If you like these kind of videos, you like you like. Um, uh, gym equipment reviews, you like exercise, talks about exercise, exercise demos, you like, uh, I got a couple like pants reviews, um, anything else, anything remotely fitness related, please let me know, let me know what you want to see, let me know what you like, what you hate, please subscribe to the videos, thank you very much, have a great day.